They sure are, Sarah. Now, in talking to police, they say it's the highest they've seen here in Connecticut in just over 40 years. And in the last weekend alone here in our state, nine people have been struck by cars while crossing Connecticut streets. Five of those people have died, and police and our transportation officials say the problem is getting worse. Motors have a responsibility to stop if they think they, you know, struck a pedestrian. Captain Joseph Margo says that's exactly what a driver did Wednesday night on North High Street in East Haven. He says that's when 74 year old Nicholas Marino parked on the side of the road and was hit while crossing the street. He died at the scene. The driver who hit him has not been charged. It's the first time East Haven has seen a case like this all year. But it does seem to be increasing across the region. Within the last week and a half alone, five people have died after getting hit by cars on roadways in our state. The incidents range from Waterbury to Killingly and at different times of day. Yeah, so far today in 2022, there's been 74 pedestrian fatalities which is the most in Connecticut since the mid 1980s. Josh Morgan says the Department of Transportation is working on solutions like adding crosswalks and updating crossing signals, but there are underlying problems at play. The rates of speed are up across Connecticut. The rates of impaired driving and distracted driving are up. Local police are tackling the trend too. In East Haven, they've created a traffic enforcement unit with other towns across the region. You know, the creation of the team was in response to uh, citizen complaints number one, but also crash data. But they can't do this without your help. I think we all just need to take it a little slower, right? It seems like everybody's in a rush these days. Now, police say that if you're walking on a street like this one, make sure that you're facing in the direction of the traffic that is coming toward you. And if you can, wear bright colored clothing. Even a vest like this one is perfect. And for our drivers, they ask you to please just slow down, put the distractions down. And now, especially with this trend that we are seeing, make sure that you're on the lookout for people crossing the road at all times of the day. We're live here in East Haven tonight. Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 news.